look, let's turn our attentions to the Women's Champions League now because Emma Hayes described the decision to send Kadisha Buchanan off in Chelsea's semi-final defeat to Barcelona as the worst decision in the history of the competition. Delighted to say, talk sport broadcaster Shabana Hearn joins us now to discuss it in detail. Good to see you, Shaban. Hi, Shaban. Look, we're going to focus Good on morning. the WSL in a moment, but... Let's get to Emma Hayes then, because she was really upset, wasn't she? She wanted perfection. It was her final game at Stamford Bridge as well uh, with Chelsea. Anything but that and shrouded in controversy. What were your thoughts as another trophy has, has ebbed away from her? Yeah, it's been um, not the end to the season and our end to her tenure as Chelsea manager that anybody really expected. Uh, fair play to Chelsea to get that one goal advantage away in Spain last week. You're right, Becky, she spoke about perfection. That's what the side had to be. However, post-match, I spoke to Emma Hayes and she also spoke about needing things to go her way. And Myra Ramirez, who was absolutely outstanding the game before, then picking up that injury, didn't help the situation. Also, the referee, was that the best standard of refereeing in the Champions League yesterday? Now, it's certainly debatable that Kadisha Buchanan sending off. And actually, from there, it all went downhill. Chelsea were starting to come back into form at that point and were starting to look dominant in the game. So that's where Emma Hayes was very clear with saying, it's not a game that we lost. It was a game that was taken from us. And unfortunate circumstances as well. Her final game at Stamford Bridge, 39,000 fans there, and it didn't quite go to plan for the Blues. But Barcelona progressed to the final of the Champions League next month in Bilbao, and it'll be the winner of the PSG Lyon today here in Paris that will join them in that final. Uh, on to the WSL, Shaban. Uh, the league leaders, Manchester City, they're facing Bristol City uh, live on Sky Sports this evening. They've got a three-point advantage over the defending champions, Chelsea. But tell us about the good news and the bad news come for City coming into this weekend. Yeah, Dad, in a bit of an up and a down week for Manchester City. Let's start with the good news, shall we? That Lord and Hemp will remain at the club until 2027. This is a huge shot in the arm to Manchester City. She's been one of their star players for the last few years, scoring 65 goals and 157 appearances for the club. So great that Manchester City got her tied down. Now they are looking like they might possibly win the league title this time around. She's also helped the club to four trophies as well. It's believed she was wanted by Barcelona, but committing herself until to herself, sorry, to Manchester City until 2027. The bad news, the top scorer, Bonnie Shaw, is now out till the rest of the season. That's following that foot injury that she picked up in the 5-0 win over West Ham. So not good news for Bonnie Shaw. It's not good news for Manchester City either, especially at this stage in the season. 21 goals in 18 games Bonnie Shaw has scored this weekend, so it's not looking good for her. Bonnie Shaw out till the rest of the season. Shaban, Chelsea, they'll have two games in hand and they don't play until Wednesday night live on Sky Sports. How important is it that Manchester City pile on the pressure? Very important, Melissa. And with Bunny Shaw ruled out, we wonder how this will upset the apple cart for Manchester City. Don't get me wrong, I see them getting over the line today. But Chelsea, they've got Liverpool on Wednesday. Liverpool haven't been here for taking part in the WL cell this season. They've been very much so involved, sitting fifth in the table, the best of the rest, shall we say. They've been really there and thereabouts and have really upped their standard uh, and, and their performances under Matt Beard. So I'm, I'm a bit concerned for Chelsea. You know, how do they bounce back? I asked Emma Hayes that, you know, when you're at this stage of the season, you need to go and win one trophy. It's your last time. She's won how many consecutive WSLs in a row, four in a row? Can she do it again? She's now relying on these other teams around her to hopefully slip up and hopefully that her team do not drop points. Like I mentioned earlier, now possibly without Myra Ramirez. So Manchester City can't afford to drop any points here. They've got to keep pushing through. And so too with Arsenal. I was looking at the Opta supercomputer who says they've got a zero chance, basically, which is nice, um, of winning the title. They're going to have to rely on Manchester City and Chelsea dropping points. Do you think they're capable? I think they're against Everton today. Do you think they're capable of winning all their games to the end of the season, Arsenal? I do think they're capable of a win against Everton today. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm confident with that one. But and that's no disrespect to Everton, they're a good side, but I just think Arsenal has that bit, bit more. But I think this is a sign of a very 
poor season from from Arsenal at this stage of the season. You know, when they lose then, say, four games in total, it kind of rules them out of the title. You know, they're relying on other sides to drop points. But with the star-studded squad that is Arsenal, I expected a bit more from this season. They'll be happy that they've got that place, that third place spot for the Champions League. But let's not forget, Vicky, next week they go to Manchester City. You know, so if City are to go on and win that game, it looks like the title could be theirs or Chelsea. But relying on losses from the, the clubs above them, it's not really Arsenal. So they need to change something this summer.